I've been robbed fifteen dollars from Republic Bank. Repu Republic Bank is a set of thieves. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's Tiffany at the day here, and I have a few things to do today. I have to go to the bank. I have to finish reconciling my accounts. It is now almost the end of June and May hasn't been done yet. <sighs> so I have to make sure I get that done before June finish because then I will have two months that I have to reconcile. And ain't nobody trying to do two months at once. So I have to finish uh, May. I have to go to the bank. I have to finish setting up for the daycare. I have to get some activities done for this week because we have a four-day work week we had a holiday yesterday because of the king's birthday so today is technically our monday and then i have to send out invoices well ch check back on the invoices to make sure all of the fees are included for this month and then send them out so that payment can be made okay, parent well what so that payment can be made on time and that we have the right figures so that we can make the right amount of money that we're supposed to make. So, yeah. Sounds right. Sounds right. All right, so it's accounts time. So I'm doing my accounts and I realize that um, since I've been logging all of the transactions on this tracker sheet that I created to keep myself accountable, I only have one transaction that I don't remember why it was. I have like, so it's a, it's a uh, group of transactions that I clumped into one. So it's just one figure on the balance, well, on the statement, and I have to figure out what transaction or transactions are missing from that clump of transactions that I did. Sounds right. make sure my angle is right right as you can see I'm back in the drive-thru and more than likely the line in the line the more than likely the line in the bank is quite short because there's a lot of people in the drive-thru and I just like the drive-thru because I can just sit down and just do my transaction in easy in the comfort of my car so yeah so let me talk about the X of the daycare. Now, when I started the daycare, guys, not a lot of things grossed me out. Like, I could withstand poop, I could have withstand vomit, I could, you know, I was good. Nothing really made me feel grossed out. Until the last couple of days, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because your girl's soon 30 or what, but my stomach has changed. It has changed so much. So, let's. I got a book on my nose, right? Gotta make sure because we don't wanna be having boogers in our anyways. So what are the things that gross me out? Okay, so the, the <laughs> listen. Listen, when I think of these things, I just have to laugh because I'm just like kids are so silly. The children started licking everything and it is grossing me out because why are you licking the wall? Why are you licking the chair leg? Why are you licking my leg? Like they just wanna lick everything, like stop it, cut it out. But 
obviously they're kids so that's what they do they lick everything then they have the runny nose when they have the runny nose before you could turn your back to go and get a tissue they eat they're eating the 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 the, the snot and i know and i'm sorry they're eating it and then they're gonna take their hand and just gonna wipe the snot all over their hands and it's just like what are you doing why are you doing that behave yourself behave yourself then when I go to change the poopy diaper, why are you trying to touch the poop? Why are you trying to touch the poop? Huh? Let me clean you. You don't have to you don't have to help me clean the poop. And then they hand getting the poop and I'm just like, oh no. No. No, I know you can give them a toy, but sometimes they put the toy down to go and touch the poop. <sighs> And then when they start up, I'm so sorry, but I, this is the X video. I have to tell you the things that make me icky, that make me feel yucky. That, ugh. When they start up vomits, why? Why are you vomiting? Why the vomit smell so stink? Huh? And nowadays, when they start up vomit, I just be like, ugh. <laughs> Because it's making me feel sick. And it never used to bother me, no. No, chase. Then, when the parents send egg, egg grosses me out. Like, I eat egg. But the fact that they will eat the egg and they want to touch the egg and then they want to put the eggy hand on everything and then the room just smells so rank. Oh my gosh. Rank? It drives me up a wall like it sends me crazy i just have to go and try and clean up the place as quick as i possible to get that smell out because that smell is gonna make me wanna throw up <sighs> okay now the next one is when they just want to put everything in their mouth like you give them a tie they put it in their mouth you give them a crayon they put it in their mouth you give even your phone they want to put in your mouth like the why you want to put everything in your mouth? Like, I understand it's sensory. Like, they're developing their senses. But I know these kiddos know what a food is and what's not food. Why are you putting these things in your mouth, son? Huh? Let me know. Let me know. The another one is when they try to put their hands in a pamper. Like, like not even when you ain't changing them. Like, on a regular they just want to put their hand in the pamper and then when you when they put their hand in the pamper sometimes the poop might be in there and then you get the poop on your hand and then suppose i know you got poop on your pamper in your in your pamper and you're gonna put your hand in the pamper and now you have poop on your hand and then you want to put your poopy hand on the stuff you want to put your poopy hand in your mouth no you gotta have put them out and along the same lines with the poop when I go to check to see if you got poop in the pamper, when I go and put my finger at the back of your pamper, they're like, and my hand touched the poop. What poop doing up your back? Why you got poop up your back? Huh? Why, why the poop up your back? Why is that my finger? Ugh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But this is what a video is about daycare eggs i have to tell you these are the things that are now making me feel gross and just because i silly a, a big ache of mine is when the parents come extremely late and there was no explanation you didn't call me i just there sit down waiting like hey this parent supposed to be come supposed to be here like a, like an hour ago 30 minutes ago why i still have your kiddo huh i had them all day Come and get your kids. I don't like it. And I need to start, like, you know, stop worrying and just start charging. Because I be losing money. Because I'm just like, Lord, let me feel from. But I mean, feel for me. You know? Ugh. Yuck. Okay, so it is now. It is now 4.19 and now is when I finish my accounts from morning. Mm -hmm. So, Republic Bank robbed me $15. $15 dollars have been robbed. So, I decided I was going to close my account for Republic because, not because of what's happening with Republic Bank right now. I just closed it because there's no traffic on the account. 
Um, and so I decided, why am I paying them $15 every month when all of my transactions are at another bank? So I'm like, it makes sense for me to take that $15 and put it into water that I buy from a big store because it comes up to $15. I can save that $15 and put to water, right? Because we on a budget, the day kids on a tight, 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 tight budget. So um, I said, let me go close my account. So my account, let me, let me give you a calculation. Full transparency moment. My account before I closed it was a hundred and sixty-five dollars and forty-seven cents, right? So I got to go collect my check for my remaining money, which is a hundred and sixty-five dollars and forty-seven cents. So I got now to get my money, and Republic will tell me the check is one thirty three fifty-eight fifty-six. I'm like, how is that one thirty three? So them saying the account had 150 56 so the commission that i'm got on here for the check the drink bank draft check 17 whole dollars first of all why i need 17 dollars just to write me a check so that then brings it down to one to the three and 56 cents but if i have 165 dollars and 47 cents where is the 15 dollars from this 165 for the seven where my fifteen dollars gone? Because if I have one sixty-five for the seven, you telling me that I have one fifty and fifty-six, so that means fifteen dollars difference there between the one sixty-five and the one fifty. So where's my, tell me why these people take fifteen dollars for the month this month here? That ain't even finished. You charge me saw charge for this month that ain't finished. As a set of thieves, I robbed me. I only supposed to charge me my fifteen dollars when the month done. The month ain't done. But anyways, my account closed. That fifteen dollars could have gone into my water. And I got waited the next month in to get my fifteen dollars. Sounds dry. Muscle. Put on my mic. Let's put on. Oh yeah, put this on now. Um.